forget the lawn. Ronnie! Mutt, get out of there. Haven't you got any sense? Where's that ball? Well, come on, give me the ball. Come on, give me that ball. Well, Mutt, did you have it? Shirley Temple's birthday and Will Rogers makes a speech. We gathered here today to unveil a, a picture of you here. Now, I'm not going to make a speech, because I'm so long-winded, I make <laughs> speeches for everywhere for no reason whatever. And you are the biggest entertainer in the world today. And you have arrived at that position by not making speeches. So a painting of Shirley is unveiled in the Fox Studio dining room in Hollywood. The celebrated star is six, has a party, and makes a speech. I want to thank you very much. I think it's very nice to have a big party like this. Frosty ice cream and sugary cake make a happy birthday. People are calling Shirley by the title of her next picture, Our Little Girl. Six candles are a lot for a famous actress to blow out. was a glamorous movie star who did the most marvelous things. A little girl named Shirley Temple. She had a pony to play with, drove her own car. She was so beautiful, Ideal has made a doll that looks just like her, a Shirley Temple doll. Same dimples, same golden curls you can really shampoo. And when you kiss her, her skin feels almost real. Your Shirley Temple doll comes all dressed up and just loves to have tea parties with her very own Shirley Temple tea set. Wouldn't you like to have a Shirley Temple doll? You can. She's waiting for you at your favorite toy store, along with the Shirley Temple tea set with Shirley Temple's picture or monogram on every piece.
Have you got my dog? Your dog? Yes, you have. That's her. I'll teach you to run away. Hey, don't you touch that dog. Oh, no? She's mine, isn't she? Waikiki Beach, a new lifeguard, ready in case any 300-pounder should get into trouble in the surf. Inducted into the beach patrol, sweater decorated with the beach emblem. She'll still do a little acting on the side, but right now the little colonel wants to be a little captain. Thank you, Captain Hill. I'd like to be honorary captain of the Waikiki Beach. She inspects her life-saving buddies. Is there any of the fine sport of life Tickled with everything. I love Honolulu. I hope I can come back someday. Hello, Pop. Hello. When you're the nation's number one motion picture actress, you sure want to see things in the right way. A boat, a party of friends, and a ride up the Hudson. Here's where the big ships come in from far across the ocean. Yes, this is the way to see New York and its far-famed skyway. Know anything about movies, Shirley? Ah, oh, yes, she takes her own. Shirley Temple never seen the East, and this is a summer vacation from school and studies like those of any other little girl. And then, when the first lady of the films is entertained by the first lady of the land. Now, what would you really like, Shirley? A picnic? So on the grounds of the Roosevelt Estate at Hyde Park, a feast. They're great on picnics at the president's home the healthy open air, and a good appetite. It's great fun for the queen of the films, who is just a little girl. He doesn't know. He says I'm going to wind up in the penitentiary, if not in jail. Mrs. Drew, why don't you marry the professor? What? My dear child. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he has much money. But you've got a lot. <laughs> Arise, fair son, and kill the envious moon. Isn't it simply wonderful? <laughs> I still get letters from ladies in the towns where I played. <laughs> yes. Yes. Landlady. I'm going to jail with the professor. No, darling. You've got to stay and finish the play. I can't do it, professor. I can't. <laughs> What 
did the blue jay say to the little sparrow on the fence one day? Say, you'll never guess so I will tell you what I overheard while passing by. <coughs> Seating you. Oh, Mary Lou. Good morning to you. Happy birthday to you. Gee, so it is. <laughs> Sonny. <laughs> it's Shirley Temple, and she has a brand new play toy. A real automobile so tiny it might have been made for Tom Thumb. Off she goes in a cloud of smoke. What, no smoke? Well, at any rate, she's the Barney Oldfield of Hollywood. They won't let Shirley drive on the open highway. They're afraid of those road homes. In the studio, she travels from stage to stage. Every cop has special orders to give her the right of way over all traffic, even the fire department. Now back to her bungalow dressing room. And after all my praise. Shirley starts and stops the car all by herself. You see, she gets out behind to stop it. Most cars, you get out behind to push. Well, so long, Shirley. Invite me for a spin someday. I know you hated to buy some Gretchen. 
You've got to take their daughter just the same. Get out of here. Here she is. Her name's Heidi. If you stop me, I'll run away again. I can't stay here. There aren't any pine trees or any mountains, and the grandfather doesn't know where I am. You've got to let me go. Stop this nonsense. I'm not going home until I send you. Now you march upstairs. Have you seen my new shoes? They are made out of wood. Such nice little shoes. Don't you think they look good?
Okay. Oh, prosperity is just around the corner. The 20th Century Fox star at Palm Springs, California. Milk for a movie actress. Just a normal picnic. Then a lively game. Oh, it's Shirley Temple, the badminton star. The tricky game of shuttlecock and battledore. The net is over her head, but the game isn't. Nothing seems to be. We've seen Shirley do so many things well, and this is a new one. A big rally for a little girl. here and stay out. You seem to forget that I'm over 21. You seem to forget that I control your finances. And I'm not going to allow any Broadway gold digger to get your money if I can help it. Stand aside. Did she mean me? Will you and Pop and everybody come over see me? You bet we will. Good night, darling. Good night. <laughs> oh, you'll please get rid of this child. But Aunt Sarah... If those people next door think they can play on my sympathy like this, they're greatly mistaken. I'll have my rent, all of it, or out they go. Please, Miss Wendling, please don't put Pop out of the hotel. He and Barbara and Jimmy and everybody, they'll have no place to live. Swing me an old-fashioned song. Down by the old mill stream. Da-da-da-da-da. Swing me an old-fashioned song. Old-fashioned song. We got to step a ball step. And it's a hop, skip, jump and slide. That's the dance of tomorrow today. Yes, sir. That's the dance of tomorrow today. Be optimistic. Don't you be a mourner. Brighten up that corner and smile. smile. Don't wear a long face.
Your Highness, please forgive me, but something has gone amiss. There is an angry woman outside to report a stolen kiss. Tell her she must go away. Come around some other day. I have told her, but she won't. You must see her. If you don't, she'll scream her head off. Tell her to hush. She won't be hushed. Then tell her to shush. I'm afraid she won't be shushed. I won't be shushed. I won't be hushed. I know my rights. I know the law. And I know also what I saw. What did you see? I saw him. You saw who? I mean, whom? I saw that lad steal a kiss from that shameless little miss. Don't be fooled by all their shyness. They're a wicked pair, your highness. There's a law, I understand, against kissing in this land. There is a law that reads like this. No one is to steal a kiss. Ah, but princess, I have a feeling this is not a case of stealing. Silence, fool. I know the law. What I say, I saw, I saw. What I saw... She's on a seesaw. I saw, you saw, he saw, she saw. On a seesaw, on a seesaw. I saw, you saw, he saw, she saw. What she tells us may be true. And if it is, what can we do? If you ask me, we should listen to the lad who did the kissing. I object would not be wise. He would only tell you lies. Let him speak. Come, lad, this way. Now then, what have you to say? Please, Your Highness, I confess, when I saw such loveliness, it was too much to resist. I just thought she should be kissed. So I kissed her, kissed her twice. It was very, very nice. So he kissed her, kissed her twice. It was very, very nice. There, you see, he broke the law. What I say, I saw, I saw. Please don't start all that again. But he stole a kiss, that's plain. Yes, it looks as if it's true. And I'll have to punish you. No, please. Let me say a word. It is not the way you heard. Please, he did not steal the kiss. I gave it to him, just like this. There, you see, I had a feeling this was not a case of stealing. I'm not sure. It's not quite plain. Could I see that kiss again? You were right. I have a feeling this was not a case of stealing. Right. The law has been abused. This lad has falsely been accused. He is hers and she is his. That old witch should go to prison. You're a very wicked woman. Princess, I am only human. Listen to the old grandmommy. You're a nasty peeping Tommy. Banish her from here forever. Never show your face here, never. Punish her from here forever. Never show your face here, never. What I say, I saw, I saw. I know my rights, I know the law. Come and sit beside me here. Your kiss has made things very clear. Thank you, Princess. Don't thank me. It was that kiss that set you free. Now we are through with this arraignment. Let us have some entertainment. Bring the dancers, bring the singers, bring, bring the, the good old, old working ringers.
dead mother see her? We better give her a bath first. Oh, goody, goody, goody. We're going to give the dog a bath. Stop that, Mary Lou. I didn't put it there. Well, you would have if you'd thought of it. Mary Lou, stop that. This is William Brown Maloney, famous editor of This Week magazine, sends it by plane to the little star who is getting along in years. She is seven. So by the sky route to Los Angeles, it's pretty birthday cake to you. Seven years, seven candles, and all good children go to heaven. When you fly back to New York tomorrow morning, will you please tell all my friends that I'm sure that they can't come to my birthday party? But will you thank them for the lovely cake? Can we open it now? Really? Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sue. You must forgive her, Big Eagle. This little girl was the only survivor of the wagon train. Please! Don't please. touch Golden Hawk. She my friend. I'm your friend too, Mr. Big Eagle. And so are the Redcoats. That's what I came here to tell you. <laughs> Makes it do that, Sonny. Mary Lou, I can't make discoveries if you keep butting in. All you make is terrible smell. Hey, Sonny! Oh, there's Sid. Now, don't you touch anything. I won't. Ow! Hey, Sonny, I got some great news. What is it? I'm going to the Military Institute next term. Burlington Field? Uh-huh. Oh, you lucky stiff. You said it. Didn't I tell you not to touch anything? You might have knocked yourself cold. Gold? Gold? 
That's it. We can go prospecting. Say, that's a swell idea. We can leave the first thing in the morning. All we need to get is a pick and a shovel. And some grub. And a cute little doggy. Okay. 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 Ho, oh, hum. Ho, oh, hum. Good morning. What are you doing here? I'm going prospecting. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to stay right here. Hey, Sonny, it's getting late. Come on, let's go. OK, we're off. Goodbye, Mary Lou. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Come on, Mark Chauvis. Come on. Come on. May I help you, boys? Imagine building a beautiful home like that out here. It's gone. It must have been a mirage. Gee, it makes you feel like a ghost. Drive through houses. Pete's sake. Well, what are you going to do about it? Oh, all right. Come on up in front. Better watch out, Sonny. Here comes a house. Ah, uh, that's just another mirage. It's a good omen. Let's look for gold here. Okay. Hey, now listen. You wait right here, and if anything happens, go yoo-hoo. Okay. Here. Ooh. 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 What's the matter? I didn't call. Honest, I didn't. Don't you do that again. Come on, Sid. She's trying to fool us again. Yo-ho! <laughs> Hello, little girl. <laughs> what's your name? Milo. What's yours? I don't know. I... I... I try to remember, but... I can't. Well, that's all right. I'll just call you Gus. Well, <laughs> that's fine. Now, would you like me to tell you a story? No, I know a story. Oh, all right. Well, we play another game. You ask me a question, and I'll give you a funny answer. Like this. 
Now, you ask me, how is the best way to raise corn, beef, and cabbage? With a knife and fork. <laughs> That's right. No, you ask me that. Now, now we'll try again. Now, remember, you ask me, why does a chicken cross the road? To get on the other side. Oh, you're supposed to ask me that. Why should I ask when I know? Oh, look! The sea! That's not water. That's a garage. On the contrary, I'll show you. Now, watch me make this dive. Give us a song. Yes, give us a song, Bertie. How about it, dear? Shall we sing them a song to cheer them up? Our old specialty, what? Not today, Mr. Bertie. Oh, come on, darling. Let's try and forget our own troubles and do something for these lads, shall we? All right, I'll try. Oh, you darling. What about the old Kent Road? That's the one. Mackie will play it for you. I'll be good at it, Mac. Every evening at the stroke of pardon me. And the missus takes a little drive. You sigh, oh, wonderful, they're still alive. If you saw that little donkey go, when we start the blessed donkey stops, he won't move, so on, I quickly ops. Pals start a wagon, and when donkey drops, someone says he wasn't mine to go. A warm cup of tea, all the neighbors cry. Ooh, you're gonna, gonna make Bill, Bill, Bill have your, your boss the street, Bill, long, 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 For the first time, the Motion Picture Academy grants a special award for the greatest single contribution, and Irving Cobb presents the trophy to Shirley. So, baby, take a bow. This was her starring picture. Remember how she did this dance on the roof with James Dunn? She wins the prize for 1934. Now let's see what she's doing for 1935. Why, the little colonel, of course, her new Fox picture. I take great pleasure in handing you your commission, Colonel Sherman. I can't read this writing. It isn't big enough. Besides, I can't read anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I assure you, it's all according to military regulations. If a baby can dance while taking a bow, so can a little colonel dance. And with Bill Robinson, King of the Wooden Shoes. Say, you catch your old pig. <laughs> Look at that. Here's your last one. For capturing the hearts of the world, the big colonel gives the little colonel the Academy Prize. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Cobb. Mommy, can I go home now? <laughs> <laughs>